This video can't end until we get both of the new LFs. I'm starting us off. And because, first off, craziness that we're starting with 40,000 CC because they upped the CC count. Secondly, during fifth anniversary, almost four or maybe even 4,000 subs in one singular day. Can we do five? thousand subs right here on the day this launches and the crazy part about that is i know over 50 percent of you watching don't subscribe you watch and you don't sub so i know that we could do it and one more tick to that is i'm trying to hit a million subs i've been at this for over eight years and we are just over 50,000 subs away from the massive 1 million mark so to have a huge day of 5,000 subs in one day i would love you guys so much thank you so much already i appreciate just watching the videos appreciate being here appreciate supporting the content and all of that just out of the gates because we are getting close to the end of the year and i'm trying to hit a million for the end of the year would love to see 5,000 of you sub in one day we were it, listen fifth any we we're able to do almost four or maybe even four out to check the stats make sure you guys saw something on screen i feel like we could do 5,000 for beast gohan and super saiyan blue kyle Ken. And evolution vegeta sorry super saiyan blue kyle can goku and evolution vegeta so uh we also have a new golden freezer who seems cracked we also have a new gotinks that seems actually i don't know i don't know on the gotinks i need to uh i need to check him out now if i'm not mistaken as of the filming of these summons the actual maintenance on pvp is lasting quite a while so i'm like uh when do i get to use my units <laughs> like in actual pvp i want to use my new shiny fancy units uh, so I don't I, you know what when I get to use them I'll be making a video over that too because I want to try them out I want to see what they're capable of doing I by the way of course watching it I didn't watch it when they launched because we launched the app you get to see the new shiny stuff of course they have you watch all the new characters but when they tweeted out the new videos I kind of wondered if Kaioken and evolution would be in that same situation as I kind of feel like 17 was because 17 launched with just a video and I feel like a lot of people slept on 17 in terms of animations until we started using him we're like wait this kind of goes crazy and i feel like that's what kind of just happened with evolution of kyle ken i feel like they have a lot more like really cool animations jocko um that we probably didn't get to see during the official preview of them during the reveal and reveals and stuff and probably more focus was put on beast because i feel like it, as hype as kyle ken and evolution are together and as hype as i think tag units still are like i've seen some people say i'm over tag units i'm personally not i think tag units are still sick dude like i i'm like bro tag units yes tap me in tap me in dude goku and frieza i'm all here for and speaking of goku and frieza you guys know we got g fuel as a sponsor and i think it's the coolest thing ever when i can have a sponsor that comes on the channel and also is related to the main thing of the channel which you're literally watching a dragon ball z video and guess what there's a new evil emperor collector's box which comes with quite literally the coolest shaker they've ever made so you can click the link down below in the description go over to gfuel.com use code nano it's going to then save you money on this this is still in stock typically the dragon ball z stuff sells out like instantly this is still in stock look at this it's uh i believe how do you say lenticular see how it's like changing and stuff the most important part the aura around goku and frieza actually changes so it comes with this shaker cup and then an entirely brand new flavor which is the evil emperor flavor look at this i'm about to try i'm not trying it yet please give me brilliant animation i've not tried it yet i actually haven't got to i want to try it on uh <laughs> actually on camera you guys it's cranberry cherry raspberry and strawberry i feel like it's going to be a very unique flavor unique combination of things so you guys can pick one of these up for yourselves use code nano supports me supports all these crazy 40 cc summons and you're getting something awesome new dragon ball related legends limited 17 we can use him uh, for those of you that always do use code nano when g fuel products drop thank you so much for using code nano over g fuel it supports the channel and i appreciate you guys so much by the way in case you want to see the entire box you got the different forms of freeze on the side you got the Ginyu force of freeze over here and then you got the saiyans and piccolo over here so very cool like even just collector's box just to have oh and then hey we got a we got a freezer sticker in there bro i'm telling you dude g will be doing crazy things lately crazy crazy things so cool to have them as a sponsor hey that's a red 417 let's go all right it's time to it's time to make us a evil emperor here as we summon for legends fest Ooh, we're in space could this be the one my dad's gonna come through although then it could just it could just literally be frieza or them Oh, we going blue? No, st wait, bl wait, wait, wait. Uh, blue on uh, blue on just base Frieza. All right. Okay. Yo, what's up, Goku Black? 
Not here for this celebration. You just a random Mart dude. This this year is so crazy. Alter Goku Rose as just like a March drop. Kind of a Saiyan Day drop, but like I feel like Legends was just like here you guys go. <laughs> dude, what what could they? Oh, I can't use him. Now the Legends Limited. Hang on. Did they change the way LLs look? Look at this. He's shiny compared to the Oob. That's the only reason why I noticed it because it was like right next to it. Interesting. Also, fun fact, if you ever do drink G Fuel, I highly recommend putting ice in yours. Mine had just barely melted as I was adding this. I'm sitting here trying to get my video going. All right, here we go. First taste test of the freezer flavor. Those mix like really well. Those mix like surprisingly well. Lots of, I feel like I, I can taste like lots of like raspberry. DKP. Oh man, that's dangerous. That is, uh, that's quite nice. Anyways, guys, go pick up your own Evil Emperor Collector's Edition. Link below. Use code Nano. Save yourself some money. People, thank you guys for sponsoring us. I appreciate it. Been a sponsor now on the channel for over two years. Makes a lot of these summons possible. Thank you guys for using Kodan over gfield.com. All right, so, I, and I had to talk about it because I finally got my own in. We got a brand new Dragon Ball Z drop. Had to talk about it. And we're doing potentially 40,000, maybe even more, bro. I can't stop summoning until I have a copy of each. <laughs> I can't stop until I have a copy of each. Oh my gosh, what's up, Gogeta? Also, just a casual Gogeta drop. Now, I know we just got these two, but it's so hard to talk about the, you know crazy things like Legends Fest and, and everything else that the game is doing without also thinking to the future. And so it's just so interesting. Like, will this be a Legends Fest where we, we jump to nothing really in the middle? Because if you guys remember the 2021 Legends Fest where we got our first duel LF, like what they're sort of repeating here, we didn't get anything until Ultra Super Gogeta from the normal time slot when you get an Ultra. So like, do they go back to that or do we get a, you know, early-ish mid-December LF and then an Ultra still at the end too, which is most likely Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. You know, I am, oh, love to see that EX pop up. I'm still obviously hopeful for Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I think he's very deserving of an Ultra. And I think that, you know, I'm, I mean, <laughs> listen, if unless you're new to the channel you already know i'm a gogeta stand through and through bro i am a gogeta stand through and through so anytime i can potentially get a gogeta like no matter in what form i'm gonna be 100 always there for it so like obviously ultra gogeta yes <laughs> but uh you know obviously beyond him blue beyond him i actually i just don't even know like what could they do? Like, I, I really need to sit here and think. Like, I would love to see some feedback from you guys on what you think we might could see for, uh, we might could see for, like, the middle release. This is all the instant. That is not Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, though, which is what I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see. Actually, Vegeta will probably come up and talk, right? I would imagine Vegeta would come up and talk since he's the, uh, since he, like, he, it's hit, like, well, wait, on the SSJ 4s, Vegeta talks first, right? I think. Yeah, 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 the the new Legends Limited get they're shiny. I don't remember it being like that before. Although I've not summoned that since they did the update, what like two weeks ago, I hadn't actually summoned for Legends. I hadn't summoned on anything since Gogeta, which was like three weeks ago. I'm like, was it three weeks ago? Was it four weeks ago? How long ago was that LF Super Gogeta? I think it's been a, a minute, bro. So, like, if that was some sort of mid update and it wasn't just like this one then i wouldn't i wouldn't even know because it's not like i pulled a legend limited dude there's also so much going on in the shop bro we got like we got guaranteed sp tickets so you can just purchase in the shop instead of like saving up your coins and then trading for them which is also crazy by the way how are we currently in the third rotation and we haven't gotten a frieza or a tag unit how is this possible? We read we read six the the trunks and Gohan though the EX trunks and Gohan tag unit. Let's go. Anyway, I'm gonna be very interested to see what you guys put if you do <clears throat> join in on the discussion down below and let me know what what middle LF you guys would want to see. So something else I want to talk about. Dude, there's so there's just so much so much discuss. So much discuss. So something else I wanted to talk about too in this, um, which. Man, dude, yeah, there is so much I really do want to discuss. 
Anyways. <laughs> Yo, I need that EX Cal. Let's go. Uh, first off, just want to say the Goku and Vegeta unit seem cracked, bro. Like they seem so nutty. And I saw people that were already being like a little weird about them being green, but they, they also are anti-green. So they're anti-Goku and Frieza, but also you're just going to run them with a Goku and Frieza. So, oh, God, dude. The Goku and Frieza are literally going nowhere, man. Like, Goku and Frieza will be meta until at least anniversary, probably. They're still, they're still just so stupid. Anyways, that's either here nor there. What's up? Small text into... Uh, <laughs> into IT. Come at me. Uh, back to the discussion at hand. So, Beast Gohan. Obviously, a lot of people talking about reused animations and all of that. And, and yes, it, it is some quote-unquote reused animations. I saw some people do some actual comparison drops though. Um, and it's a lot of updated stuff. But I think the thing that I want to talk about more importantly than anything is the model for Beast Gohan. The model for Beast Gohan is the highest res model I think we've ever seen in the game. Like it stands out. He looks so good. I don't know if you guys have paid attention to this, but the Beast Gohan, the new Beast Gohan genuinely, even when he's in his ultimate form and of course when he's in his beast form, his face everything all of the textures look so much more polished than anything ever has in this game period it is absurd it's actually crazy how good they look so beyond the fact that like the special beam cannon obviously looks tremendously updated it does not look like a total copy pasta um and again i think you need to see it side by side right just to truly appreciate what they were able to do with it and the other thing too is just the fact that the model is 100% updated like 100% and I don't know for for me personally I'm not saying like I'm not because it is a gacha game and it does cost a lot to get these characters but and I'm not saying that I don't like seeing new animations and I don't want to see new animations but some recycled animations here and there to me just make sense like don't reinvent the wheel you know what I mean like I, I don't know that's that's the way I view it kind of like how i talk about summoning animations all the time like i'm wondering if the reason why we don't get summoning animations is because they don't necessarily want to utilize the animations that are already in game you know like because you, you saw a lot of people in their reactions to the lf dragon fist for year four and how a lot of the animation a lot of the animation is just straight from the dragon fist that we see in the summoning animation and so i'm wondering if backlash from that has now prevented them to want to utilize some of the in-game animations that already exist and give us new summoning animations since the, an the animations are already done and in the game but they don't want to reuse them because they don't want to reuse them you know of course then i guess that goes against the fact that when you do look at something like beast go on who does have some reused animations albeit maybe polished maybe some different in between stuff all of that but there are definitely some similarities you know i guess they don't they don't care too much they don't care too much to do it that way so i don't i don't know what the reason behind no new so many animations really is other than maybe just the fact that um you know i i think i saw someone i don't know how much is true to this but i saw someone tweeting about the Dokon team i think it was semi relation to just me talking about the animations and uh and then some other people started talking about the animations and stuff and just because that game makes so much money does not mean that that game's budget has increased so likely it's the same amount of people that have been working on it for the longest amount of time so you know it's probably not a large team still working on Dokkan even though Dokkan is making bukus of money for them just tons and tons of money but they're still only giving them so much money to actually put towards the actual development which includes hiring people to work on it and stuff it's like really a similar thing with Legends like I, obviously we have no idea what the size of the team is that works on Legends we have no idea so if it's the option between putting someone on doing new summoning animations or putting someone on doing a transfer in Beast Gohan. I imagine I know where they're going to put the time and effort into the new character, not the summoning animations. Would the summoning animations be nice and a nice touch, especially for a dedicated fan base and you know a lot of dedicated players over the years? Yes, but is it really that necessary? No, probably not. You know. Um, I do hope they understand how much we do like sending animations though like that's such a big aspect of these games i mean it's how we pull and get our new characters so i just hope that they and i feel like they definitely do but i do imagine it is a situation where we don't know how big the team is um and so we don't know you know it, it could be a massive team it could be a really small team and so that's why they can't ever just like they can't take a couple people off of animations for new characters to then put on so many animations and so maybe that's why we don't see it 
Who knows? Uh, now, in other news related to Beast Gohan that I wanted to talk about, I don't, I don't, uh, I've not personally read the manga. A lot of people always seem so surprised about that, but I, w I was someone that was holding out for the longest time to experience Super and everything that happens in the manga from Super through the anime because I just figured the anime would come back. You know, we are now uh, approaching, you know, once we're in 2020, March 2024, the Dragon Ball Super anime will have been off air for six years. Straight up. Hasn't been around since 2018. So with that in mind and the fact that I have this podcast now, which you've got, of course, you guys don't know, I have a podcast with Donna Doya, uh, the one and only called Key Moments, where we talk about just in general anime, our most recent episode. Um, that will be coming out today is actually a reaction to a movie to a Dragon Ball Z movie um, So if you guys want to check it out as always you can just look up key moments I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to check uh, key moments out But anyway, it's a podcast we thought of it's live on all podcast services Spotify Apple all that And I think because of that podcast and because now we know about Dragon Ball Daima I think I'm gonna finally read the manga This is Ultra Instinct Why? Why? No Nappa here comes nothing, bro. Get get out of my way, bro. I'm trying to pull Legends Limited, Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken, Goku, and Evolution Vegeta, man. I'm getting deep, bro. I started with 40k. I started with 40k. I still gotta pull, I gotta go on another banner. All right, space, the final frontier. It's gonna come through. Anyway, because of that podcast, because I think it'd be really fun to, you know, read the moral arc. Uh, and I guess, one more asterisk here because of what i do and who i follow and who i interact with and all those things i know a lot of the beats like overarching beats of the stories so i so like the granola arc the moro arc you know i know the gist of it like i know some of the more spoilery stuff but i don't know all the things right like i don't know every aspect about it obviously because i'm not read it myself um and i've not looked up anything any content over it and stuff like that so I think it'd be fun for me to sit down, dive in, and read the manga arcs, and then Dado and I do full-on podcasts on key moments discussing those arcs. And the reason I'm saying all this, and even I was already planning this before the most recent thing, but in an interview, if you guys aren't familiar with where the manga arc is right now, which I know a lot of people have been bummed about it because the last like 10 months have just been a recovering of superhero, which is never fun. I don't think anyone really enjoys um, retracing steps, you know, especially when things are so limited like think if we could get 20 more episodes of super oh, i just realized what's happening but it could be it could be for goats or it could be for frieza please 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 dude oh my gosh please be them please be them please be them please be them it could be one or the other it could be one or the other please don't be frieza i mean i would need frieza honestly be both <laughs> be greater together bro you know what i'm saying let me get both of them please 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 that, does that frieza art look like it doesn't even belong in legends to you guys it looks different we got frieza here's the thing i needed him because we gotta have him i can't be summoning on him i cannot be it's not, it's not summoning but i can't be pulling out a legends fest without him but dang, bro, I'm trying to get the, the tag unit out here, man. Doesn't look like he do, does anything. He probably doesn't. He's just uh, he's just the Cybender SP that, that seems like he has an insanely cracked kit, dude. He <laughs> has a crazy cracked kit. No, oh, man, but finally. All right, one of four down. One of four down. Dude, this tag unit, it, it, no, it's not going to be the bane of my existence. It's not going to do it. Please, please. 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 All right. Anyway, back to manga talk now. Um, anyway, so imagine imagine if like we could get those 20 episodes, though, that were spent or was it like 24 episodes, something like that, that are spent on retelling Battle of Z and Resurrection F and, and put that towards another 20 episodes post T.O.P. That'd be sick. Like that would be incredible, you know? Um, and I know there's some different beats and stuff like that in there, but for the most part, the movies did it and it was like, it did it justice and it did it fine and totally fine. And from a manga standpoint, I especially get, you know, they didn't, they 
I know there was like a small mention of the Broly movie and then that was it, right? I think it was like one panel and that was it. And so then to do 10 straight months of, or maybe even 11 months by the time it's said and done or 12 months, however long it's being a superhero is crazy. But however, they have now teased that whatever's happening in the next chapter is actually going to be like crazy. Now, take that with a grain of salt. I don't actually know if that's really, you know, if that's really has much weight to it or whatever, but this was in an official interview. And so if they do something really interesting with Beast or, you know, have, have it all intertwined back into what was happening prior to the superhero arc taking off, which I know had, had, had did involved something with Black Frieza. I just, I know that. You know, again, it's the one thing where I, I don't know the nitty gritty of all the arcs. I don't know, like, Truth and Diddy are caught up on it and they were talking one time, or maybe it was Truth and Dotto, and I don't know. But regardless, they were like all having a conversation. I was just barely hearing like some of the some of the stuff, and I was like, wait, what? I was like, what happens, Dot? And I was like, never mind. I don't want to know. Like, I either want to experience it through the manga or through the anime, one way or the other. Like, I don't want to hear you guys talk about pivotal Dragon Ball moments, you know? So, anyway in the realm of beast very interested to see what exactly is going to happen in this next chapter that may or may not involve these gohan so that's kind of exciting because like with beast i'm i saw people arguing beast versus ui and i love ui and i think ui as a form is really 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 cool like i think ui as a form is probably cooler than just beast as a form if, th if this can make sense but there's something about Beast Gohan that makes me more excited than UI Goku. Okay? I, I hope that makes sense. Like, I definitely recognize that I think the Ultra Instinct is a much, on a grander scale, much cooler thing than a Beast Transformation, period. And I'm, I'm just talking about purely the, the, and I know people say UI is on a transformation. For all intents and purposes, it's basically transformation, okay? Let's treat it as such. Um, just to compare them so it's kind of it's you know just bear with me but i for me because i just grew up like gohan was one of my favorite characters as we're doing this dragon Ball Z rewatch for the pod i'm like well no wonder like i i just forgot how much gohan is sort of pushed more as the main character in the in the early seasons than goku is you know like right now again so for reference dada part of the podcast what we're doing we do talk about other anime the, the most recent podcast before this 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 movie reaction one was us just talking about Attack on Titan, the Attack on Titan finale, um, and just going into a deep dive into Attack on Titan. Um, and then we've done another one where we just talked about all the anime we've watched. We just had some fun over there. But the sort of like core, the backbone of the podcast to make sure that we always have like a weekly episode up is us doing a rewatch of Dragon Ball Z. And so I, and I explained this in the pod, I've never really rewatched Z. Um, and I've also admitted to the fact that there's probably episodes I've missed because i guess i never felt like i needed to because all the i played all the games the games always retell the story and i never felt this need to rewatch z um i don't know i just never did i always wanted to but i never got around to doing it and so i that's what that's how key moments even came about because i approached dotto and i was like hey what if we create an anime podcast and we don't have to just exclusively talk about dragon ball z you know but what if we talk about anime but one of the core things of the pod is we do a rewatch of z we post our reactions to the rewatch which are over on patreon and then we then talk about the rewatch as a podcast and it's been so much fun and it's been so eye-opening to so many things um and the reason why i say i probably miss episodes is because as a kid growing up obviously i might miss a day or two and growing up when i grew up <laughs> as someone in there uh you know someone who's like 30 uh, streaming wasn't a thing. Streaming didn't exist. So if you missed an episode after school, you had like something going on with after school, whether it be like, you know, sports or you just had to. I mean, sure, dude. If I'm not getting the tag unit, then give me dupes on this guy. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Frieza. Let's go, Frieza. Legends Limited. Why, uh, dude? Why? On the five? On the five? I just, uh, wh what did I do? Uh, ain't no way I'm about to be 20,000 CC deep without this tag unit, man. You and me. Holy. Anyways. Get ready. 
I need some, uh, need some, some evil emperor juice right here, bro. Huh? Take that for what you will. Just because I'm drinking it again, and I did mention it. G Fuel is, is one of my sponsors. G Fuel, thank you for sponsoring us, okay? <laughs> just, you know, just throwing it out there. Use code Dan over gfuel.com. Anyways, especially because I'm spending so much CC. Holy hell. This is crazy. Anyways, uh. <laughs> how am I this deep without them? <laughs> What's up, Frieza? <clears throat> what is up, man? Oh my gosh, dude. Please. Anyways, so, you know, if I was busy after school and like, I didn't, I occasionally had a buddy that would sometimes record them on PHS, bro. I, I am telling you, bro, I'm dating myself hard here, but like, just is what it was. It just was what it was, bro. You know, just, and so I never got the opportunity to really go back and rewatch them. Obviously I own like, literally, I don't know if you guys ever pay attention, but there's like a set of the, of the Blu-rays right there. I own Dragon Ball mul in multiple ways, right? Got the full manga set, got everything, but I just have never, went back and just rewatched it and i think part of me now that i've begun a little bit older part of the reason why i haven't done this is because i always thought i would do it with my son when he got to be probably like seven eight nine about the age i was and then we'd probably just kind of chip away at it and it would sort of be like he would experience it sitting in similar like age ranges that i experienced and i thought that'd be kind of cool um so once i had him which he's now coming up on six years old i was like i'll just wait and do it then because it is a massive investment it's 291 episodes so it's like you know, why not? We'll wait. I'll do it with him and it'll be, it'll be special. Let's say I'm doing it on Dada. <laughs> and it's been fun. It's been, and so yeah, it's just been really eye-opening. And so for me, coming back to the original discussion, I think Gohan is such a special character to me and to have him back in superhero, regardless of how much I know people call that that transformation and ask for all the things. I don't really care. It's cool. I just enjoyed seeing Gohan back as like the main character co-main character with Piccolo of superhero and seeing him to do cool things and regardless of you know oh we smiled after seeing Piccolo basically die and all this stuff like I just I don't know man wrong tag unit by the way legends it was just also special to me that to me personally um and I can't even say I don't know if this even necessarily a new shiny thing right because Be Beast I mean that movie came out you know coming up on what a year like three months ago so it's not even like that new and that shiny anymore. I mean, to me, Ultra Instinct still feels new too, you know, so it's like, by the way, yeah, they are not Red 7 yet, uh, if you can believe it. Legend, Legends Fest 2022, Tag Goku, or Tag Vegeta and Trunks, not Red 7 yet from me. If you can believe it, you probably can based on how these summons are going right here. Yeah, I, lo I love this. Blue, and this is gonna get, this is gonna give it to me, watch this. It's gonna. Okay, I didn't, I didn't lose, but I'm telling you right now, two or more guaranteed SPs in this multi-summon. It is about to pop. It's about to be my day. I just know it's going to be my day, Goku and Vegeta. Please. Goku and Vegeta, please. Goku, paging Goku and Vegeta. Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken Goku, and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. I'm paging you here right now. You didn't come. I'm about to be under 20,000 CC. I love that. You know, I love putting 20,000 CC into a banner and getting two copies of a new character. Sick. That's sick. That's so, that's so, that's so sick. I love that. You know what else we haven't gotten a single time in this video? Which I'm not surprised because Really you have to pull good. I mean, I and I guess I've pulled several legends limited at this point, but uh, we haven't gotten a single Broly animation. I think they took it out of the game. You know, I'm 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 a little convinced that Broly, you know, the Broly animation might just not be in the game anymore. I will tell you. Now, obviously, I don't like getting shafted. Sha getting shafted sucks. However, the fact that the CC cap has been raised. It, it would suck even more if right now I was gonna have to stop the video and go purchase more Chrono Crystals because of course I was never really out of them because the 20,000 cap and it wasn't, you know, you could go over the 20,000 cap with free to play CC, but that's neither here nor there. Rarely was I ever at the 20,000 CC and then acquired more free to play CC. Like usually I was back down to like 100 CC and then I would acquire, acquire more free to play CC over, <laughs> like from there, you know? Anyways. 
But uh, it is that is, I guess, nice. Uh, I don't really necessarily want to give, you know, Legends any more of my money at this point. I'm definitely praying that 40,000 CC is enough to get one singular copy of Tag Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku and Evolution Vegeta. And then I can also get a copy of LF Transforming Beast Gohan. Legends, can you hear me? Let's just please. Please. No variable text. No Broly. I'm guaranteeing animations. Blue. No blue. LF. You are not going to survive this. It's him, but it's not him. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, the Legends Fest shafting, bro. What? What's good? What's good? Please. What does what does one have to do to pull a tag? Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku and Evolution Vegeta. How many times do I have to say the name? Say my name. I'm losing my mind. I'm quoting Breaking Bad now in a Dragon Ball Legends video. Why am I doing that? It is the greatest out television show of all time. But we're just losing. No wheeze. Yeah, that just happened. That, that. Space. Watch this. My father is going to come through. Dad. My brother Broly. My other brother. Never mind. But it's space and I went blue. So they've got to be here. Trunks, shut up. No one cares. Please. No, Trunks. Stop. For the love of everything, leave me alone. No. I'm back on another rotation. Ah, dude. No way. Oh, it loaded. It took a little while to load. My father is going to come through as a Super Saiyan. Okay, he didn't. Is it... What do I have to do? What do I have to do? You can't make this up. Bro, I'm trying. I'm not trying to make movies out here, bro. I ain't trying to see that Scorsese cinema meme about this video. I'm, gonna take you I'm making feature league films out here, bro. Not today, man. This is this is not what I was trying to do. Let me tell you. Oh my gosh, rainbow, something, anything. Thank you. Now, I'm going to tell you right here, right now, Broly, Vegito, if you do not shatter the dimensions, I will be beyond upset. What can I really do about it? I don't know. But I need them to shatter the dimensions right here, right now on your screen. Watch this. They didn't do it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Piccolo. Bruh. Stay alive, Vegeta. No one cares no about you guys, okay? You're like 10 months old. You got a plat equip. It did nothing for you. You suck. Get out of my face, okay? Like, imagine being a Super Saiyan 3 stand. Just could not be me. <sighs> I do really like Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, though. I thought, that, I thought that that form was really sick. And I also like evolution. I know a lot of people for some reason don't like evolution. I always said evolution was actually pretty cool. Here I am. Just a stand that can't get anything going. Lose.
lose. Nope. Got my Broly animation. It meant nothing. It meant literally nothing. I didn't think anything, Broly. You know what I thought? I thought maybe you guys would show just a little, a little bit of compassion, a little bit of mercy. Like I'm starting to lose hope that I'm even gonna get a copy in 40,000 CC. This is getting, I mean, this is getting insane. This is actually an insane. Hang on, I'm gonna go back. I wanna, I wanna finish. Hang on, let me see where I'm at on this rotation. Am I close? To, I, okay. I'm gonna go back and I wanna see where I'm at in terms of uh, coins. And I wanna see just how many coins I've got. Because maybe my dad will come through here. It's a short planet man. I need to know. Yep. What a start to Legends Fest for me, man. I love, I just, I, you know, what, like, what can I, you know, what can I say, man? What can I say, dude? Cinema. I love making movies, guys. You know, I, I'd be making movies. I'd be making movies. Holy, dude. I just, I, what is, what is going on, man? What, what am I to do? You and me, let's go. I'm a little baffled. Um, I will say, <laughs> let's shift gears a little bit because you know we're. For those of you watching, I just want to say I appreciate you guys. Thank you for being here. <laughs> you know? Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of this community. Uh, it's been it's been awesome. I am very excited about hitting a million subs. I think uh, I think it's gonna be really really cool. I have some different ideas. Uh, I am I've had a few people ask about a new drop. I'm not trying to plug too much here because I feel like I plugged a lot. But we have we have some special stuff coming, and and not just a drop, but like uh, I'm I'm trying to trying to formulate what I think could be a really cool video for a million as well. So. I hope we're able to get there sooner than later. And, uh, you know, the support of this year, uh, I don't talk about any of that stuff too much, but um, this has been probably one of my best years on the platform. And that to be able to say that this deep um, is only possible because of your guys, like just insane support on the videos. Showing up, Noti gang, appreciate you guys. Always there on notification. Showing up on the different types of content. I probably made the most variety on the channel um, than ever, right? Like. You know, I think a lot of people for the longest time, I've always been a Legends guy. I always have been playing since beta, but I think a lot of people have always associated me more with Dokkan than anything else. And I feel like I still do a ton of Dokkan and I still have made, I did a fun little breakdown. I still made more Dokkan videos than anything else. Not by much. Legends and Dokkan are like neck and neck, but I've, I've got a nice pool of variety. You know, a lot of Dragon Ball variety, but still variety nonetheless. And uh, it's been just a really fun year. So I appreciate all you guys that do watch all the videos. I appreciate you guys supporting the podcast too. I've talked a lot about it in this video, uh, mostly because I've been summoning for 40 minutes. <laughs> but like uh, the podcast has been like very fun for me because this channel literally eight years ago started out as a podcast. Let's talk about Hearthstone, dude. <laughs> You're like, man, how'd you go from talking about Hearthstone to talking about Dragon Ball? I just watched a lot of Dokkan creators back in the day. I was like, man. These guys are making Dokkan videos. I feel like I can make a Dokkan video. I made a Dokkan video, and then now here we are. It's nutty. It's nutty, nutty, nutty. I wasn't even paying attention, bro. I didn't even know we were getting anything, bro. Oh, my God. Let's go, dude. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Dude, that art is so sick. That art is so sick. What? Hang on, I got I, I got Give me, get me out of here, man. I gotta see this art, bro. Get me out of here. Let me, see, let me see it. Let me see it. Oh, it was on the, it was on the seven. Okay, hang on, let's see it. Oh, dude, look at them. Oh, bro, they are so. <laughs> That's some of the best art they've ever made. Can I, can I say that? That is some of the best like card art they've ever made. Wow. All right. Let's finish out this rotation, then we'll, we'll move to Beast. Anyway, so the fact that, you know, this channel started as a podcast and now getting to do the podcast has been like a ton of fun. By the way, like the video. I don't already ask for subs, and a lot of you better have subbed. <laughs> what, 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 
Thank you guys for subscribing, man. I hope we I hope we hit it, dude. If we could do 5K in one day, that'd be so insane. Um, I know some of y'all be doobie jumping around. You probably jumped to that that pool. What's up? We've been having a lot of fun discussions over here. It's been a long video. It's been a long video. Lots of summons. Lots of summons. Matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a little trick of the trade. I'm about to stop my recording after I finish this rotation because if I were to lose this recording now, I, I, you know, uh, things might not things might not go so well. So, uh, yeah, little little trick of the trade. I will tell you guys, especially with summons. Not that you ever want to have to redo any videos ever, which definitely happens from time to time because things get corrupted and you just have to redo it. But summons specifically, you cannot redo. They are A, expensive, and B, you can never get them back. Like, that's not something you can re... I can't recreate my first pool. Super Table God, get it. You know, like, like, you can't do that. So if you're ever someone that wants to create content, I do recommend, especially if you're in longer recording sessions, taking breaks from the recording session. First off, just taking breaks in general is probably smart. But secondly, stopping your recording, getting it saved and safe. So the power your failure can, you know, all kinds of things crash, all kinds of stuff. You just, you know, you're a little more covered. This is a recommendation, okay? As someone who's done this for a long time, has only happened had it, had it happen a few ha handful of times, but has had it happen. You want to be, you want to be on the safe side. And now that I've pointed all this out, I really, I really want to, I really want to stop my recording side and make sure I've got my Kyle King Goku and Evolution Vegeta saved. <laughs> Whoa, dude! Oh my gosh! What a shafting. I don't want to hear anything, anything, anything at all about YouTuber luck, bro. That is the farthest thing from any type of YouTuber luck, period. Get away from me, man. No, shut up. Ain't no way. I got, I'm 30,000 deep basically, and I got a three star of the new LF. Woo. <laughs> I know it could be worse. I know it could be worse. Trust, I've had worse. But still, that's, that's not great. It's not even play like that's great. Oh my god, yeah, that flavor is dangerous. Again, hashtag sponsored. I don't want to, I don't want <laughs> He complimented the flavor without mentioning it again. I have a sponsor by G3, he's good now. Okay, so. I really am walking away from this banner with three star, huh? Okay. You're going to do this to me. Okay. All right. Now, we can finally summon on Beast Gohan, bro. I think like 40 minutes into this video, I can finally summon on the Beast Gohan banner. Now, please, Legends, do not make me have to buy more CC in order to get a Beast Gohan. I won't hold y'all. <laughs> I didn't start this video saying I gotta get all four. So somehow Gotenks has never show his face, but I managed to get Beast. I'm, I like, bro, I'm so, I'm, I'm, I'm out, bro. I'm out, I'm out of here. I didn't. <laughs> No, my luck. We're going to get like three Gotenkses and zero beasts in this CC. Maybe nothing. You know what I mean? It could also be a whole lot of nothing. But uh, back to what I was going to back to what I was going to talk about with the with the pot. It's just been a good time. Like honestly discussing and, and I already mentioned rewatching was what has been a blast, but just discussing Dragon Ball. And I know I already do that, but we're more so on the side of actually just discussing purely the anime stuff, not so much the gaming stuff, which the gaming stuff comes up and I do mention things like Legends and Dokkan in the positive with that because I do spend so much time playing this game, so much time covering them on this channel and all those things. So it's pretty impossible for them to not come up in my day to day. It, you know, just is what it is. So much of my day includes talking about these things. So it's inevitable that when you're on in like an hour long podcast, that stuff's just going to come up. But that's been a really good time just talking the anime and uh and just really revisiting it and we do like the entire the entire like episode breakdown so we you know and then we end up rating the episodes and all that it's just it's just been a blast um we are in the sand saga right now though i'm excited to get through we're kind of in like some filler stuff at the moment like for the newer episodes once we're past watching this movie um we're in a lot of filler so i I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to getting past that uh we had we have we've had some bets over there too on how much filler there will be and it's been it's just honestly it's just I feel like this sounds like it's been mostly just me trying to tell you to go listen to the pod. It's really not. I just, it's been a lot of what I put a lot of energy into with like the side projects that I've been working on. Um, and one thing that I, I just want to talk about is something else I've been doing um, is, and I know it's, it seems like it's been controversial and I don't really know why, but I got a PlayStation portal. I wish I had it up here with me, but we just, it's obviously it's Thanksgiving. Um, so we traveled and saw a bunch of, a bunch of the fam our family and stuff like that. 
uh, and I'm married, so of course we go to her family and my family and everything like all of that. So, anyways, I finally got to try the portal, which if you guys aren't familiar, the portal is literally just a uh, dual sense. I think I'm a dual sense. Race of warriors. Don't underestimate me. It's, it's literally just dual sense with like screen in the center, right? Like that's literally that's literally all it is. Um, but it's like an eight-inch LCD screen, and you could just remote play. You just literally remote play with it, but. I hadn't tried it off network, right? So I don't, every, every time I've done remote play, it had been in the house. And I have used remote play in, since forever, dude. I, I, was, I always have thought that that tech was cool. So like I did remote play back in the day when you could just do it like on a PSP and you could do it to your PS3, but it was like very, very limited games would allow you to do it. Like I think Layer was one of them and uh, the like dragon game that originally came out. You could only fly your dragon using the, the like six axis, like, motion controls as opposed to actually using your your dual shock like joysticks it's crazy bro insane they thought that's how people want to play that full like eight ten hour campaign is purely through motion nutty they finally released a patch and they let you play without doing that but if i remember right that was one of the games you could remote play and back then like remote play was like the network capabilities just weren't there right like wi-fi was not at speeds that would allow you to transmit all that video and sound data and then transmit back the control data like it worked fine here and there but it wasn't a good streaming experience for more than a couple of minutes you know and anyway so i've been i've been around bro i did you know vita to ps4 and all of that when it turned into where it was just basically a mirror because the other thing too with remote play is like if I remember right, you couldn't even go back into the cross media bar. If you guys remember the PS3, the cross media bar thing, it's such a throwback. It feels weird to think of the PS3 as a retro console, but it kind of is a retro console now. Like, PS3 came out. Oh my gosh, it came out in 2006. So, what would that be? 15, it was 17 years ago. Holy crap, dude. 70 years ago this month. That's crazy. How, dude? That means the Xbox is 18 years old because it came out in 05. Anyway, the 360. Anyways, uh, I didn't actually have a 360. I, I ended up, I saved a bunch of money, cut a bunch of lawns, and bought a PS3. But, um, anyways, so I've been like a remote play guy for forever. I always thought it was such cool, cool, like tech. So when I when Sony announced they were doing, gonna do like a dedicated handheld for remote play, I was all in already. Like I, I was already all in because my PlayStation sits up here on this desk and I am upstairs. And so sometimes I want to just play my play. I'm going to play my exclusives. Um, and I've got to where I've been playing a few more games on the PlayStation as opposed to my PC, even though I have a very nice PC, but it's just like console gaming. As much as I love my PC stuff and I love my tech stuff, if you guys don't know, I have a tech channel that like, I promise it's not a plug for that. I just, I'm just mentioning it. Like, I feel like a lot of people just watch me over here and they think I just play mobile games all the time and they forget the fact that like just because I cover a lot of these doesn't mean this is like my entire existence I guess and uh, but I have been playing a lot more console stuff and it works out because now I've got a way to play it not sitting up here and I can play it laying in bed and the thing that this the thing this DualSense has over any of these uh, you know all the PC all the Steam Decks the Asus ROG Allies the um, Legion goes all this stuff like it's they're all getting so much more popular and I think that's fantastic like if we can get to a point where I can play a lot of the PS4 era games in a pretty solid resolution at 60 frames per second on a handheld that's not remote play that's going to be perfect we're going to be wrong the Steam Deck and all of them are very impressive pieces of uh, hardware but they are limited like um, an FSR and all that stuff is really really cool in what it can do but it is still there's a lot of like artifacting i think that's how you say it um and you know the resolutions are still a little low and so like there are moments that don't look as good like yes i can get witcher 3 to run at 60 frames per second but it's not exactly the prettiest thing to look at you know and you can especially when you got the screen close to you like this you can just tell because it's all in it like 800p or maybe 720p um that's neither here nor there you know those things are awesome but the thing that they don't have is the fact that this holding this controller or holding this remote play device this this place is important. please uh, please beast go on beast go on please dude for the love of everything 
for the love of everything beast gohan show your face oh please oh please 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 dude. So, how many sparkies can i get in one multi man please Oh, dude. Oh, dude. I got Listen, I got mentioned the beginning. We're trying to hit 5,000 subs in one day. I'm trying to hit a million subs really soon. Thank you, guys. No. That's the coolest cut in thing they've ever. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's my that's my payback on how hard it was to get the others. All right, we got to finish the rotation out. I can't end the video mid rotation. It's bad luck. It's bad luck. Um. Anyway, so the thing the PlayStation Portal has that those that all those devices don't have. Don't get me wrong, they all have their varying comfort levels. But the PlayStation Portal is literally just you're holding a dual sense. There is nothing that any of those other, at least in their current states, any of those other like. PC console things could do to be as comfortable as holding a controller. You know, some of them get close, but it's not the same as holding a controller. And so today I finally got to try it off network. And I tried it at my my mom's place and I tried it at my in-laws. And they have varying levels of of network, um, you know, stability and, and Wi-Fi and, and all of that, the Wi-Fi setups. And it worked so well, right? So I'm I'm connecting to my my PlayStation 5 that's sitting right here on this desk that's like a foot away from my hand right now all the way like 100 miles away right via the internet <laughs> was such a cool experience don't get me wrong there were a couple of pickups because it's you know it's sending all this data back and forth back and forth back and forth and it's not like GeForce now that has crazy server warehouse somewhere that's like just optim optimal connection and has multiple connecting points like i am connecting on their internet that's connecting back to my internet and it's all you know talking back and forth and it is hardwired here i'm hardwired here obviously um but it was a very good experience like it was pretty much either it was working or it was just stuttering for a second like there was no real delay there was no input delay there was no like it, i was like bro this thing is so impressive and i'm not like i'm not trying to be like this insane shill about this device i just again i've been summoning for what is nearly an hour so i just thought i would talk about some different topics in the video let's go um and this is one that i've been i've been thinking about making a video talking about get out of here go on get out of here bro hang on okay i know this might sound crazy i'm gonna i'm gonna see if i can get one more copy because i think i've got enough to go one more round because when I use, when PVP is up and I use him, I would like to have him at six. I won't I won't hold y'all. And I know you might say the same thing about the tag unit, but I do have enough. Um, I'm I, I'm excited to try the tag unit out, but I'm also really excited to try transferring Beast Go on. So I'm gonna see what I can. I'm gonna see if we can get Beast Go on here. Probably won't happen, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Probably won't happen, but I am going to try it. All right, here we go. Uh. Anyways, and so I've really actually liked my time with this device. I've had it for about a week and a half now. It came out on the 15th, which I don't, I mean, I say I don't know. They probably planned this, but if you guys are familiar with the PS4 launch, the PS4 launched in 2013 on November 15th, and they released the PlayStation Portal, this handheld remote play device, for uh, on the same day this year november 15th 2023 so 10 years later for the so the 10th anniversary of the playstation 4 they released a playstation portal very interesting very very interesting it'd be so cool if i could get the uh i've not i've not gotten the super saiyan blue bar like animation yet i've yet to personally get that animation that'd be sick to get that here lose okay but uh yeah anyway so I'm probably going to put out, which basically most of you guys got that, but I think I will put out a video where I talk a little more about that device just because I thought it was, you know, cool. And I, there are cons as well. I think the price is a little bit steep for what it does. And I definitely am really confused as to why I only will do remote play because if you guys own PlayStation 5s and you've been paying attention, ah, 
It's a really good unit now, though, after his, his post Zenkai, but definitely just want beast. But um, you can, you're starting to be able to stream a lot of games, right? So, like, what Xbox has been able to do for a while, um, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I don't actually turn my con my Xbox console on that much. I play most of the uh, Game Pass games on PC. But anyways, you can stream a lot of the games, right, because of uh, xCloud, which is really cool because you can be downloading the game and installing it, but then you can go ahead and start your playthrough via xCloud immediately. And there is some delay with the xCloud. The xCloud is nowhere near as good as the G as GeForce Now in terms of like uh, streaming gaming services, in, in my opinion. <laughs> God, I love Cooler. That that not not that unit's okay, but man, I do love Cooler. I just love Cooler the character. Um, but I I do. So now that PlayStation introduced the ability to stream games, which is really cool. Like you could purchase a game and immediately start streaming it instead of just downloading it and you can just play it through streaming it and it will you know your save will go back and forth and all of that um i think that they should allow you to just do that with this device like i one of the ways they have semi worked around you know playstation a lot of playstation 3 games are abandoned currently on the playstation 3 console is emulating the ps3 and all of that is just a, a massive pain in the ass if you guys aren't familiar with ps3 the way they built the cell architect of the processor that was really advanced for the time but a, a, just a pure pain in the ass to develop on and develop for and mostly just first party developers are the ones who truly unlock the potential it's how we get games like last of us uncharted that look so pretty and, and get a lot of cool physics things and all of that anyways but regardless they they made this device that really kind of is this it just kind of exists within itself and they can't really replicate and like cpus are really obviously really powerful now but they're not so powerful that they can just like throw a ps3 emulator at it and just work so like that's why that's why a lot of those PS3, ps3 games are abandoned on the playstation 3 um you know like metal Gear Solid 4 and stuff like that and infamous god i would love an infamous one and two remake or, or something but anyways uh, I do wish that this device would allow you to do streaming because the w the workaround with that is that they've introduced streaming. So you can stream a lot of the PS2 games, uh, but you can only do that on PS5s, right? Or I think they might let you do that like on PC and, you know, on PC and like a client you can download possibly. But I'm like, man, this device right here, if you actually got, please, please dude, please. If you actually would make this device not only just be remote play, but also let me do streaming to it, that would be it would then more so warrant its purchase price and like i would like it a lot more um but anyway that's my two cents on it break it break it break it break it break it they didn't shatter any dimensions this will be it though i honestly don't know if it could even shatter now that i've got him too i'm not i'm, I'm honestly not 100 sure that that animation is definitely for me at this point the rarest in the game i think i've gotten it one singular time period It is Gohan. <laughs> it's just not like the Gohan. He does technically get the beast hair. It's not, you know, not the beast hair, but it is the beast hair. All right, guys, that's the video. Don't forget, G Fuel sponsors this video. You can get your evil emperor, at least right now, it is in stock by using code Nano and clicking the link down below, gfuel.com. And appreciate you guys watching to the end. You can click on another video right here that I know you guys are going to enjoy. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.